Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Sunday the 23rd of May 2021. Uh, it's Observer Day of course, not Guardian Day, so I have no idea on the level of the Sudoku Puzzle. We'll get on to it in a second. I just wanted to mention that a study performed by Public Health England has announced that the Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines are up to 88% effective on the Indian variant of COVID-19. So that's some good news to report. Uh, it means the vaccine is uh, effective on several variants uh, to date. Um, but I'm just wondering why we need to call it the Indian variant. I mean, you know, there is already plenty of racism around and enough people will grab on anything they can to introduce racism um, Trump, of course, you know, referred to things like the Kung flu because he wanted to gen up anti-China feeling. And, uh, you know, I also can see where racists will grab something. Oh, the Indian variants start talking about, you know, Indians and something like that. Why can't we just give them numbers? Why don't we call them variant 1, variant 2, variant 3? And that way we'll have an idea of how many there are as well. Please, let's call them by numbers, not geographical locations. Okay. Now... <clears throat> oh, excuse me, it's a horse this morning. Um, this is the game of Sudoku, and uh, the observer does not give a level of for its puzzles. But anyway, as we have seen of in the last couple of weeks, the Guardian's rating of its puzzles has been woefully off, really. Yesterday was abysmal. They, they class, classified a puzzle as expert, and really, it was a simple puzzle indeed. Um, so if anyone's joining us, I have at this stage I have no idea because um, I have not played the game yet. So I can't tell you if it's easy or not, but it might be easy. And if that's the case, we will have learners with us. And if we do, let me explain how the game works. So there are nine rows across and we try to fit numbers one to nine in each of them. There are nine columns down and again we put the digits one to nine in them and there are nine of these outlined boxes and we fit digits one to nine in each of these boxes and that means that uh, there's a kind of principle of uniqueness uh, each number can appear once only in a row a column or a box and that's what we need to remember when looking for numbers so how do we go about finding numbers well we look at the grid <laughs> so let's have a look at the grid um, and see what we can see first thing i've noticed is a six down here and a six across here and a six across here what you say if you've just started sudoku everybody else goes yes right it means this six which is in this column cannot appear again in this column and the six in this row cannot appear again in this row and the same thing for this six can't appear again in this row but in this segment over here that's a kind of blocking pattern if you imagine like this six blocks down here the six blocks across here and the six blocks across here leaving just one empty space so we can fit our six in there right yeah that wasn't too painful was it um, okay looking at, uh, slightly ahead well I I'm, I'm, don't know if this will turn out to be an easy level puzzle or not but um, if it does all right, no, let's do something else first. Okay, something a bit simpler. Right, okay, in this column, uh, we don't yet have a 4, but we can see that this 4 excludes this square, and this 4 excludes that square, and this 4 blocks that square from being a 4. So again, we're down to just one space where the 4 can appear. Let's take this 4 and bring it across this row, and the 4 up this column, and up this column, and a 4 across here. So again, just one space left that doesn't interact with any other fours in the grid. Um, there is also a four along here and a four along here, so that gives a four down here. There are two fours missing, but we can't do anything about them because I noted already, look, we've got intersecting here and here, but we've, they're going to be here in these four squares. Um, and we can't tell which is which for the moment, and they're not going to affect anything just for the moment, so we'll just leave them and forget about those for the moment. All right, the other thing that I noticed that I was going to mention, so I'll mention it now, is that this 8 
blocks this square. So we look at this segment here and we see this 8 blocks this square and this 8 blocks these two squares, meaning that 8 will appear either here or here. Right? Now, can we tell which square it's going to be? Not quite just yet, but we know it's one of them. So when it's somewhere along this row in these two boxes, so the rest of this row must be blocked in the same way that if we'd actually placed the number. So there's no 8 here or here, and this 8 stops this square and this square from being 8. So guess what? We've got an 8 down here. Um, in this column now, we don't yet have a 1, but we have a 1 in this segment. Now remember, 1 means 1 can't appear anywhere else in this segment, so not here or here or here or here. So these two squares can't be a 1, so that's got to be a 1 up there. Now we don't yet have an 8 in this column, but this 8 here blocks that square from being an 8, so that's got to be an 8. And there's only one number left, and we can find out what it is by counting through. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Any 6s? Nope. So that's our last number. We'll fill it in there. Um... Now, kind of similar to what we did with the 8s here, if we look at this 1, we'll see that this 1 blocks this square here, and this 1 blocks these two squares down here, meaning that a 1 will appear either here or here. Right? So now we can continue that down and understand that it blocks these three squares here, this 1 blocks these two squares here, and this 1 blocks this across. So a 1 has to appear here, like so. Um, you know, I really have no idea on the level of this puzzle. Um, it could, could turn out to be quite a tricky one. Um, at this stage, it's impossible to tell. So, um, what I should do is see where numbers are missing and see if there's anything easy that can go down here. We're missing three. Uh, threes okay so there's a three blocking here and a three blocking here so that's a three there uh, the missing numbers here now are seven and nine but we can't really get, get any information on seven or nine here so we will just leave that for the moment um, what else what's going on up here we've got um, two missing five missing uh, 7, nope, and 8 across the middle, which won't really help us uh, a great deal. Uh, okay, so let's get this 8 down here then. So 8 across here, 8 across here, and 8 blocking down. That's got to be an 8 there. 6 blocking down here and 6 blocking across this row means we are limited to only these two squares for a 6. And when we bring those across like this, we'll see that square is blocked. And this square blocks down here and this 6 blocks down here and down here. So again, limiting us to just one space where we can fill in our 6. What's missing down here? One, two, we're missing a three. Oh, okay, so we already have a three in this box here, so three is eliminated from these two squares. We don't have a three in this row yet, so that's our three there. Um, what else? Uh, seven and nine are missing here. Any interacting sevens and nines? No. Um, can't tell which is which just yet. But we can see that 9 has to appear in one of these two squares here. This 9 will block these two squares, and 9 will appear, appear here or here. So again, let's take that up, and then we look, focus on this top right 
um, segment here, you'll see 9 blocking these two squares, this 9 blocking these two squares here, and a 9 blocking across the top gives us a 9 here. The two missing numbers here are 2 and 7, but again, we simply can't tell which is which, just check. Trying to see what numbers are the most productive. Um, trying and failing. I have no idea <laughs> where to look next. Um, ah, okay, so uh, eight. Now we can get an eight here because we have eight blocking along here, eight blocking along here, and this eight now intersects with this square here. And so that's an eight there. Well, okay, just still starting, still, you know, glancing around, looking around the board and um, looking for, um, in looking in other places, because if you get hung up in one place for too long, uh, I think that's, uh, that will give you a setback, really. Um, what can, is there anything we can do up here? What's missing? We've got one, two, three, four, fives. Can we tell anything about fives? Only that there's no five here. Sixes, well, sixes are limited to these two squares here, because we've got six and six there. Sevens, no, we can't tell anything about sevens. And eights, well, eights is blocked from these two squares, but could possibly appear here or here. And so, nope. That was useless. How about down here? This is missing numbers was seven and nine. Uh, the nine, nope, seven, nope. Okay, what else is missing? Um, two. Up from here, but nowhere else. Five is here or here. But again, we can't tell where just yet. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we're going to have to um, use some candidates on this, I think. I think I'm going to need to. I'm not sure I'm going to get any further without filling in some candidates. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, I guess. So uh, let's begin by... Um, I don't know this, I get a feeling I should be looking at this, but maybe not. Uh, so one blocking up here, one blocking down here, so that will give us a pair of ones in these two squares. These are paired candidates I'm looking for. In other words, places where number a number can appear in two squares within a single segment. Uh, like this five blocking over here, five blocking here, gives us a five in this in these two squares here. Possible fives, I mean. Um, the 7 blocking these two squares here means 7 can appear either here or here because it's blocked from these two squares here. Um, what else? Oh, down here. So we had 7 and 9 in these two squares, right? 7 and 9. 7 and 9. Uh, this 2 blocks this square, so a 2 has to go here or here. And what else? Uh, one blocks this square, so one is here or here. One, two, three, four, five. We don't have it. Ah, okay, good. So five goes here or here. So we, when we see this one five pair and a one five pair, they have to be the only numbers that can appear here. So this two that I wrote in before can't be true now. So we can get rid of it, and that leaves us just one space to fill in the two, and that's nice, I think. Okay. Uh, 
Um, all right, so this has to be a pair of sixes along here now, because six blocks these two squares here. Um, the two blocks these two squares here, so two is a pair here and here. The nine blocks down here, giving us a pair of nines in these two squares here. But the seven, which is the other missing number, we still don't have any information about. So, hmm, that could be our number to look for today, our important number. Uh, up here, threes are a pair in these two squares because this three blocks this square and this three blocks these two along here. And also, kind of thinking along the rows, these two are now blocked and there's one three up here blocking. So, three appears as a pair there. Uh, this eight blocks along here giving us eights here. In fact, I'm going to fill in these eights I know already. Eight blocking here, eight blocking here and here. So there's eight going there. Uh, the fours also, four blocking here. Four, four and four and four with this blocking here. I know we don't need any more of those. Um, I'll just fill them in now. Um, the one here blocking these two squares, so one is here or here. The two blocking up here and two blocking down here. Ah! Ah! Uh -huh. Gives us a two here and a two here, and also gives us a two just here, doesn't it? The seven is not going to exist now because I'm going to overwrite it with a two right we don't yet have a two in this row and since two is blocking here and two is blocking here it's got to go there now I overwrote a seven so that means the seven is here and I overwrote a one that means the one is here and that means that one can't stand that's got to be a one down there now okay this is why we fill in these candidates helps us this three this is the last number in this uh, box now is a three and that three now can't stand so that's a three there Uh, the missing numbers here are what three and seven. Okay, but again, that's not going to give us anything great just yet. So, um, about fill them in anyway. Three seven three seven six. I'm filling in candidates. Um, okay, what's missing here? One two three four five six seven eight nine is missing. Any information on nine? Nada. Nope. There is a pair of nines up here, though. We'll fill in the nine candidates in these two spaces here. Also, we'll note that six is limited to these two squares. I noted that a long time ago, but anyway, six blocking here, six blocking here. So the six is there. Um. Ah, now this seven that we've got now has in fact possibly finished the puzzle for us. Sometimes you just need one number to really get a lot uh, more. And I have a feeling that's going to give us a lot just finding that seven. So seven now is limited to these two squares. Now, guess what? We already have a pair of nines in there, right? So nine and seven and nine and seven. So that has to be nine or seven only. In other words, this six cannot be true and there's only one six left and this two cannot be true so there's only one two left goes there now the six here will block that from being a six so that's our six there there's one number left in this column and it's a five so we can put five there okay uh, what's missing up here now um, the missing numbers are two and seven this two blocks here so that's our two and that's our seven Okay, looking good. Now, okay, so this has to be a 7 down here now because this 7 blocks this square, 7 blocks this square, and this 7 blocks this square, leaving only that space there as a 7. And now we know that's got to be a 9, so we can remove candidate 9 and fill in here. Um, okay. What 
else can we do? Um, as I say, that, that, that was very useful, finding that um, seven there before. Uh, I have a feeling we can do a bit more. i just got to look around for it. Um, so missing up here now. Okay, so we can find digit one now. One blocking along here. One blocking along here. And that's our one. One or five down here. This has got to be the one, and that's got to be the five now. Um, okay, which limits us to a five over here. So uh, let's just see how this works. Five blocking along here like that. This. And 5 must be in one of these squares up here, right? Because this 5 blocks this square. So blocking along and blocking along and blocking up here. So that's our 5 in that location there. One number missing. It's a 7. So the 7 goes hit here like so. Now we can solve this problem about 7s and 9s down here. That's got to be our 7 now. And that's got to be our 9 now. Along here, that's now a 7. That's now a 9 because of these numbers here. Okay. As I said, I thought that 7 might virtually finish the puzzle, and I think it, it basically has. Uh, this 7 can't exist in this square, but we see 3, 7 here, so that's got to be a 7. And that's got to be a 3, and we know that 3 can't exist there, so that's our 3 now. Um, okay, what else do we need to do? Um... What's missing up here? One, two, three, four, five. We don't have yet. We know it's blocked here, so it's got to be in one of these two squares along the top. Uh, the other number that's missing is uh, seven, but guess what? We can find that now because seven blocks these two squares here. So seven is there. We're overwriting an eight. That's our eight, and that's our five. This eight blocks that eight now, so that's eight. The last number here is 2. One more number to fill in this column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's a 9. In goes the 9. Um, that 9 will now give us this square here as a 9 because 9 blocking along here, 9 blocking down here. That's a 9. We're overwriting a 2. So that's a 2. We're overwriting a 5. And we're overwriting a 4. And this 4 can't stand, so that's our 4. And the last number there of the puzzle is, in fact, up 2. Pretty straightforward stuff. Again, somewhere between the me easy and medium levels. I did write in a few candidates to make life easier. You probably could have done it without candidates if you were determined and dogged enough. OK, thank you for joining me for today's Observer Puzzle. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. It will do me a big favor. And um, also subscribe to other Sudoku channels that you find interesting and informative. Uh, thank you very much. I hope to see you again tomorrow. If you are a beginner player, please come back tomorrow. Monday is always beginner level day uh, for the Guardian. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.